Good morning, Calvary. It's Patrick from Celebrate Recovery. Listen, today we're going to dive into Psalm 29. You know, David intended this psalm as an absolute psalm of praise. There's nothing to lament here. There's no lesson to learn. This song is declaring the power and the majesty of the Lord our God. So let's talk about what David's goal with writing Psalm 29 was. First of all, he wants to point out that our God is powerful. You know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a weather freak. Before I moved to Arizona, I was a storm chaser. I loved thunderstorms. I love weather. Did you know that there's 10 million joules of energy in an average thunderstorm? That's the equivalent of a 20 kiloton nuclear bomb. And your God, my God, controls and authors every single one of those thunderstorms. And that's what it, David is trying to say here. It says, The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders, the Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon to skip like a calf and Syrian like a wild young ox. Guys, David's trying to convey the might and the power of our God. Number two, he's trying to tell us that our God has a name. You see, every time that you read the Lord, Lord is all capital letters in any modern English translation. What that's really saying is God's personal name. And God's personal name is described in Isaiah 42. It says, I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to carve idols. But when he says, I am the Lord, he actually says, I am Yahweh. So every time you read in Psalm 29, it says, ascribe to the Lord, really, we should be saying ascribe to Yahweh, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to, the, to Yahweh glory and strength. Ascribe to Yahweh the glory due His name. And the glory due His name is exactly what David accomplishes because you see, he says Yahweh 18 times in this psalm. Okay? He also uses a phrase, the voice of the Lord. And you know, anytime you're in the Bible and you read something and they repeat themselves, you better pay attention. The voice of the Lord appears seven different times in this psalm. Our God has a name. Number three, our God is a jealous God. In Exodus 20, when God is giving Moses the, the, the Ten Commandments, it says in verse 4, You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that's in heaven above or that, that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I... Yahweh, your God, am a jealous God. Our God is a jealous God. You see, in ancient times, oftentimes the Israelites would worship a pagan God, a Canaanite God called Baal. And you may be familiar with that God, but that was a Canaanite God of thunder. So what David is declaring is that God, our God, Yahweh, is much more powerful, much more mighty than Baal. To avoid temptation of, of having the, the, the people of Israel bow down and worship Baal, he is using this psalm as a reminder to them that we only have one God. He has a name and he is very jealous. So today, Calvary, what I want to challenge you to do is look at your life. Are you bowing down, maybe not to Baal, the God of thunder, but maybe you're bowing down to other idols in your life. Maybe it's drugs, maybe it's alcohol, maybe it's distraction. Maybe it's your own career. Maybe it's materialism. Whatever it is that's distracting you from living a right relationship with God and worshiping the might and the power that is Yahweh's name, I would encourage you to look at that really closely and make sure that your priorities are exactly where they are. If you want to know more about laying down hurts, habits, and hang-ups, we would love to have you every Monday night, 630 at the Sweetwater Campus for Celebrate Recovery. Um, I'll be here and we'd love to have you as well. You guys have a great day.